Hey guys, Figurecraft here. We're back, and I'm still working on doing more uh, progress on the Titanic. And what we're working on now is these metal plates right here. And I've already got them all pre-made. This is just pieces of paper with uh, holes drilled in them to create those metal plates that goes down below the vents so now we're going to work on sticking those down and we're going to start back here at the back first and I'm also going to talk to you too about a uh, mistake in a, um, a part that I found we'll uh, talk to that when I get to it but our first metal plates that we're going to stick down is this one right here that has these parts on it. It's got to go right here. So, going ahead and taking these parts out. And then we just got to line up these holes to go there. And what I'm going to use is tacky glue to glue these pieces down. So going on the back of this. Just now going to work on spreading my glue. Just like that. And then I'm going to flip this metal plate over. And I'm going to align the holes. And then glue this in place. Let me hold this up to the light make sure I'm getting it. Yeah. And right there is the first metal plate glued down. When that dries, we're going to be painting this gray. And then it'll look like that metal plate that goes down below the vent. So now our next one is this one. So going to work on getting these parts off. Just pulling them out. They're just dry fitted on here. Working on this one now. We're going to do the same thing. Flip it over. I really don't like when glue bottles do that. Hang on, man. i got to find a paper towel. To get this crazy mess out of the way. The glue bottle stopped up enough to where the pressure is pushing out the glue. And I really don't like it when it does that. Okay, so doing this again, adding the glue at the bottom of the paper, and then we're going to stick this down, make sure that I get some glue up here. All right, now I'm going to align this. And then do my best to stick it in place. About like that. So let me look and see if I've got the holes lined, which I do. Okay, that's two of those down now. So we got those metal plate pieces down. Now our next one is going to be uh, this one, which we're going to have to turn this over on this side now. And we're going to stick down this 
one right here that's stuck together like that. So same thing getting our little pieces off of this. There we go. And then we're going to pull this one off. Okay. Now I'm going to align it to see where it goes, which it's going to go right there. So now I'm going to... Oh, you stupid glue bottle. Stop that. I'm just going to have to constantly wipe the glue bottle off every time when I grab the glue bottle. It keeps wanting to do that. Anyway, taking the glue and sticking the glue all over this piece now. And the good thing about tacky glue is it dries fast. Okay, so we got the glue on. Now I'm going to do my best to align these holes. Which is right there and there. Let me bring this up, make sure I got it. Let's go over just a bit. Okay, got that one. Dragging this one over. Need these ends here, y'all. I'm just aligning these holes. And then if I turn it around this way. Yep, and then I'm going to do a test. I'm going to take my um, drill bit and see if I can get it down through these holes. Okay, got to do that one. That's good. And got to do that one. Okay, so those holes are aligned. Let's check these. Those are aligned. And those are aligned. Okay, that one was a little bit tricky to do, but I got it. All of them holes are correctly aligned now. So we got that one. And our next one that we're going to do is looking here. Is this one right over here? So that one would be this one right here. I'm pretty sure. Let me just check. Make sure it fits. Yeah, it fits. Okay, so. Taking this piece now off of this. Okay. Same thing. Boy, this glue bottle really made a big mess this time. Okay, same thing. I'm going to apply the glue at the bottom of the paper. Just like that. And then we're going to flip this the way it needs to be. And then we're going to work on inserting this on here. Get it straight as I can. Make sure it's lined up with the holes. So taking my little drill bit. That one's good. Yeah, that one's good. Okay, so that one's down. We have... 
one more little metal plate to put down. I think, or two more. Let me think here. Yeah, two more. So I gotta find that other one. Where'd that other one go? Well, I know I made it. I just gotta find it. Huh. Hang on. Me look at these instructions. So yeah, the next one would be this one right here. And this one's going to go... Let's see here. Okay, that's the one that goes there. So I'm just looking for this one that goes here. Which I know I made that piece... I'm just trying to figure out what went. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, here it is right here staring me in the face. There it is. If that was a snake, it'd bit me. Okay, so I gotta get this one down now. Right there. So, getting this piece off. Glue bottle's bubbling up again. It's got too much air trapped in that thing. There we go. I get that off. Set that there. Set that there. Let me clean this glue bottle off again. Because it likes making a mess. Okay, so. Looking at this. Flipping it around to where it goes. Like that. So, i got to put glue on this end. Spreading the glue. Which that looks good. May need some more glue over here. There we go. We just gotta flip her back around. And then we gotta insert this onto these holes. And make sure it's straight. <laughs> then we're going to take our little... Whoops, almost lost that. Put that over there. Take our little tester. We're going to see if we can locate the holes. Okay, so this hole right here is located right there this one however is not finding it so let's see what we down here we probably got it a little bit off let me see here pull this from the back it's got to go farther down i think Pull this further down. We'll find it here in a minute. I'm just looking for it. I'm a little off here. Which, that's to be expected. This happens sometimes. This one's okay. But this one right over here wants to play up. And there it is. Okay, we was a little bit off, but I got it. And now there's one more to put down. And that is this one right here. Now here in a few seconds, I'm going to show you that one mistake thing that I found too that they've done. So according to the way the screen looks on there and in the way this one looks, this one's got to go here. It's got to go right there. So, same thing as before, we're going to pull the metal plate off, 
we're going to get our glue and then we're going to apply the glue to the paper metal plate that I made it may look like regular paper right now but once these are painted gray you won't even know that that's paper it looks like the actual metal plate so turning it around putting as close as I can to that and we're going to take our bit and fill around maybe look here yeah I got it the right way I just got to locate those holes again Okay, there's one right there. That one's been discovered. There should be one right there. Yeah, there it is. Uh, let go. Put that back down. Straighten it up a bit. And with that, we have all of the metal plates that needs to go onto the deck stuck down. Give me a few seconds here. I'm trying to get some of this glue off that I accidentally got on my wooden deck. Good thing about tacky glue is you can usually pull, peel it. You won't have to worry about that. There we go. But there's all the metal plates stuck down to the deck that needs to be stuck down right now. And now I'm going to show you that little um, mistake that I noticed in this build. So that mistake was out towards here, yeah. It was out towards here. It's the vent that goes here. So let me find that correct vent. Which I'm thinking it's this one. Let me look. Yeah. It's this one. Okay. But the mistake that they've made... They want you to put this vent and the instructions on there like that to where the flat end faces out. But if you look up here on the the hatcher model, on this one, that vent is right there. The flat end has to be facing toward the wall. So what I had to do was get me a, dr a bigger uh, drill bit Drill me a bigger hole on this side because the way the pegs are, it's a small peg, big peg. So I had to basically flip the piece around and drill a bigger hole right there to where I can actually twist this around the right way and then put it on there. But uh, that's a mistake that I've noticed that they've made. They put a vent on backwards in the instructions. But it has to go right there. And then if you look over here... In the instructions, let's see here, where's it at? I'm looking for it. There it is. You can see right here, it's telling you to put the vent on that way. With the flat end not facing the wall. Then it would look like that. So, I corrected that mistake on mine. I just figured I'd let you guys know about that. But that's going to do it for this video. You all have a blessed one. And I've got one more thing to touch up and paint. And once I get this right here touched up and painted. I'll make a video on it showing you what I did to it. But this is the last thing we got to do before we can start the build. 
But until then, you all have a blessed one. Goodbye.